this way i can access the chrome os in my windows laptop and i can do a full screen so it can be visible in full screen launcher and all apps hello friends welcome to the channel tech icon place uh, today we are going to check how to access chrome os which i have a white screen on it and i am unable to access it so let's power off this first click first power menu with two items power off okay let's power on our laptop which have a chrome os and i installed um, this chrome os based on uh, voice assistant and i am getting a white screen nothing else let's wait until it boots so this is what i get nothing else i will wait until the voice assistant starts chromebox spoken feedback is ready password for shivkrishnik at gmail.com so now i can text. follow this voice login assistant to window. log in the chrome so password. I'm using the external keyboard, so I'm going to enter the password. Bullet, 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 bullet. Sign again. Once sign in, I will again wait for the voice assistant. Launcher button, shelf, toolbar, window. So now I can use a tab to go to Google activate. Chrome. Google Chrome button. So now we'll enter window. Settings. Google Chrome op and uh, opens in the background. What I will do? I will type remote desktop. Main menu. Search settings. Chrome OS settings. Close button. Press search plus space to activate. I think it is not open. I will try again for the Chrome. Run safety check now. Clear browsing data. Clear his privacy guide review. Cookies and or other else, site what data I will do? I will uh, press Control and N to open a new tab. Address and search bar. So, Edit text. URL right. entry. Now it asking for Tool the URL. Bar. Now I am entering Chrome. Remote, Remote Desktop. Window. Remote Desktop. Dot Google dot com. Type O. So now it loads. So, so this is the page what it loads the Chrome OS. I open this in my Windows laptop so I can follow the voice assistant using that this uh, when I click tab so it says the chrome remote desktop so now again I will press tab google apps and then the account then I will go to the skip main content remote access remote support so this one here I will click Press search plus space to enter. Activate. Remote support visited. Enter so now link. what I will do, I will uh, just keep on uh, pressing tab until it reaches Chrome the remote, remote, remote support remote and support. Remote the re uh, generated generate code. So I I will uh, keep pressing the tab until it reaches the generate code. Skip to main content link. Remote access. Remote support set up via SSH. Set up via SSH. Send feedback. Send Button. feedback. It reaches the send feedback. Press search plus toggle theme. Toggle Button. theme. Now it reaches the toggle Press theme and privacy and terms. Privacy. terms. Now I, I will go to generate Button. code. Now Reach it reaches the generate code. Here, what Press I will do, I will press enter and I will wait until it uh, generates a code. Access code. See, Button. now it says the cancel. So I will press, press search plus 
Shift tab so that so that it can read the generated code. Your access code is four eight seven nine three seven five four six three two nine. Four eight seven nine. So for repeating it again. Cancel generated access code. Your access code is four eight seven nine three seven five four six three two nine. I will go to the Chrome Remote Desktop Support and I will go to uh, Remote Support here and I will enter the code here and I will click on Connect. Remote assistance, would you like to allow channel techican at gmail.com so, to see and control your computer? Remote assistance, would you like to allow channel techican at gmail.com so to gmail press allow, to what I will do, computer. I will press shift, alt, and n. Shift, alt, and n. Notification center, so, dialog. Or tab register notification center. So now I will, I will find the remote desktop uh, pop up. Click on tab. Remote assistance, would you like to allow channel techican at gmail.com to see and control your computer? Now again Relax tab. Notification. Again button tab. Button. This will cancel the Press remote support. If I activate. click tab again, this will ask for the share. Now Press I will click enter to share. Tab. Notification center. Dialog. So this way we can uh, take the remote of the Chrome OS because if I click another site data third party cookies are see. blocked in incognito mode sub page button settings settings Google Chrome shiprishnik at gmail.com search your device apps settings and web use the arrow keys to navigate your apps edit text launcher partial view window group search your device apps settings web launcher partial view Launcher, all apps. So this way we can access the Google Chrome which have a white screen with the help of remote support we can access another laptop like a Windows laptop just follow the steps um, and then uh, and follow the voice assistant uh, we can uh, know where it is clicking and all then we can Menu connect the remote of the Chrome OS. Press up so down we can do whatever we want here. I didn't find a solution to uh, solve the widescreen issue on my laptop. Maybe my display is LCD due to that and also it is damaged due to that. Uh, it is not um, giving the proper display. It is giving a widescreen. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching our channel. Please like, share and comment and subscribe our channel.